the brutal reality and disconnect for the modern day real estate agent. I have many points I want to cover with you guys today, and I want you to sit down, take notes, and really digest and understand what I'm saying today, okay? <clears throat> I know my voice is a little bit off, but bear with me here. Number one is this. People have lost, this is number one, people have lost that true sense of what the real estate business is. You see all the, this news, social media, and all these things, and people have become distracted. They don't know the real essence of the business, and they have this warped idea of what it's going to be like to be an agent, their day-to-day -day activities, what it's like to grow their business, so on and so forth. And then you usher in the era of all these gurus that tell people different things. They're wondering like, oh my God, 20,000 people that I'm following, I'll do it 20,000 different ways. What do I do? And again, people are just lost. And they don't know what the business is. This is a people business. Let me give you an example of how detached we are from reality as real estate agents, okay? I'm not really a part of many Facebook groups besides the ones I've created for my coaching and stuff, right? And I remember one time, this is pretty recent, you know, sometimes you'll get the preview of what people are posting in groups or what they are, and you can take a look without being a part of it, right? So I just happen to be browsing and I look and a question pops up that says, <clears throat> Like, what are your top lead sources, you know, for real estate or your business? Something like that, right? And when we think lead sources, we think probate, notice a default, right? Um, divorce attorney and those types of leads. Just listed, just sold, sphere of influence, expired, for sale by owner, absentee owners, stuff like that, right? Repeat and referral business. Those would be the traditional lead sources in real estate. So the preview showed me three or four responses. And those responses were so mind-blowing to me that I had to open it just to confirm the, the insanity of it, right? So basically, I click and I look at dozens of responses. Every single response for lead sources was all companies that sell you leads. And I'm sitting there like, oh my God, the average real estate agent is so just gone. You mean to tell me People believe the only lead source or the dominant lead source or all that's out there is companies that sell you leads. Now, this could be a million things, laziness, cheating the process. But, but when I saw how many people were replying that way, it, 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 it really just brought it home to me that the average agent is just lost. This is a people business. You can't cheat the process. You're going to have to build your business the hard way, and it's going to take time. I urge all of you, stop listening to these fucking gurus. Oh, we'll scale to seven figures and this and that. And right, because we have people coming into the business day one, not knowing shit, not having shit, being like, oh, I'm going to build a 20 person team and make a seven figure business in six months or a year. You're delusional. You're out of your fucking mind. That's not going to happen. You could get there in the future, sure. But you really think that's going to happen? 10% of our industry makes $100,000. 10%. 10%. So if I'm going to give you a message to encompass this first point, get back to the basics and do it now. With what's happened the last four years with the world being shut down, people have this fear of talking to people of going out there and getting it, rolling their sleeves up and working hard and just talking to a lot of people every day. That, 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 that's the number one thing that people don't do when I talk. And I talk to agents all the time. They DM me, they follow me, they message me. I just did a workshop with about 100 realtors on it. That's the number one thing I'm getting. They don't talk to people or they don't talk to enough people every day. They'll do everything else except for that. When that's the one thing that will make their business scalable, duplicatable, repeatable, give them actual numbers to measure, and give them real results. But what do we want to do? We want to be lazy, delusional, cheat the process, and act as if we don't have to do it that way. We're special. We can do it another way. And the reality of life and this business, it will crush you if that's what you think. Now, I've always been the one to just deliver things direct and not be around the bush. I'm not here 
bashing people. I'm not doing any of that. I'm just telling you the reality because I myself am not special and I had to accept this reality from day one. And if you're unwilling to accept that, good luck. Because it's no different than our industry. Number two, we're in a sales industry. How many people nowadays tell you, don't sell, selling is bad and this and that. They don't know shit about sales. Because all they're doing, they've never either gotten into it and became proficient at it, or number two, they're talking about the people who don't know sales, who think they know sales, and put out a bunch of garbage. Both are wrong. Selling is one of the highest level of ethical things. It's smooth. It's silky smooth. It's an orchestra. It's beautiful. It's a symphony. When somebody really knows how to sell to you, you're not being sold. You don't feel like you're being sold. You thank them at the end. That's a beautiful sale. A happy customer and a happy salesperson. And they both get the result that they want. The, the salesperson sells their customer or service. The, the customer gladly accepts it, pays for it, and is 100% satisfied. Tell me what the hell is wrong with that. But what do we do? When we get into sales, we understand, uh-oh, I need to work on myself. Uh-oh, I have to talk to people. Uh-oh, I have to develop skills. And that process is ugly. You will be chewed up, spit out. You will fail. You will not do good. There'll be a, a steep learning curve like it was for me and many people. And we're not willing to go through it. So what do we do? We go to what's safe and comfortable. I'm not going to sell. I'm going to buy this gimmick or this gimmick or that gimmick. Why? Because I don't want to put in the work to become a proficient salesperson, which by the way, that's the process to become great at anything. You have to make it through the mud. You have to work hard, right? But that's being lost because we're being sold this, hey, you don't have to work hard, you don't have to do this. And people keep buying that bullshit, unfortunately. Unfortunately, right? But this is a sales and people business. You will have to learn this. And if you wanna forget surviving, I'm talking doing well, you're gonna have to master it. Who's in here to survive? If you're watching me and you're, oh, I just want to survive, I'm not the guy for you. I'm sorry. If you want gimmicks, I'm not the guy for you. If you want people to, to be cushy with you and lovey-dovey and, oh, and treat you like a teddy bear, I'm not the guy for you. You want real skills? You want transformation? And most importantly, do you want results? Then I'm the guy for you, straight up. But we allow ourselves with the second point to stop ourselves. I'm an introvert. I'm this. I'm that. Blah, 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 blah. Excuses excuses because anything you can say i've worked with my students and my people and transformed them into sales monsters and whatever you would put in the comment section i'm introvert i have social anxiety i've worked with it all meaning it, it's possible if you're willing to put in the work and commit to it but understand this is and i don't care how you dress it up how you market it how people gimmick gimmick this and that to you you're going to have to learn it because this is a people business. And if you don't know how to sell and communicate at the highest levels, good luck. Because number three, th this is a disconnect. People fail to accept that as time goes on, regardless of how you feel about the NAR lawsuit and technology, all that's really doing, if we look at it behind the scenes, all it's doing is raising the minimum standard and the bar for the realtor. And agents are unwilling to do it. They want to do the least amount of work and get paid the most. No market expertise, no tech savviness, no communication skills, no hard work, bringing no real value, but they want to get paid six, seven, ten percent, or whatever. All it's doing, again, Realtor.com, Zillow, the lawsuit, which is still pending, by the way, and it's not even approved. For those of you freaking out, right? All it's doing is forcing you to level up. You were a gatekeeper before of all the information. Now you're not, meaning you have to bring some real value to the marketplace. You can't just say, I'm a realtor. Here's my name tag. Pay me. No. So that's a good thing. That's why I'm not worried about all this stuff because I keep getting better, providing more value. So do my coaching students, so do my team members, and we get paid. My team members, my coaching members still get 6 7%. Shout out to Philip. He's in Malibu. He just got a $5 million listing at 6%. People are doing this. The top is doing it. I just nabbed the development deal with first of many projects at 9% for 129 unit development project. 9% commission. 9% with skill 
and doing a lot of the things that I've been talking about for years. And again, to reiterate, I am not special. I'm just willing to do the hard work and I've been doing it. And here's the key. I've been doing this thing correctly. This blueprint is out. What you need to do is clear and simple. If you're willing to do it or not is the question. But this raising the minimum standard in this point three, you have to be willing to do it and look at yourself in the mirror and say, hey, am I one of these frauds that's trying to do the littlest amount of work and hide and get paid big bucks? Because if you are, just leave the business. You have no business being here because then you're, you're the, the, the agents that bring the trolls to my comment section saying I'm trash because I'm a realtor. Because the, that chunk of realtors gives us a bad rap. And I've always been, whether you like me or not, from day one, a proponent of raising the standard and showing professionalism, skill and expertise and bringing real value to the marketplace. That's been my focus for me, my team, my students, and it will be moving forward. And I'm a very obvious representation of that. Again, regardless of people's personal opinions about me or not, it doesn't matter, right? So we're at three here, but a lot of this stuff needs to be clicking for you and we need to step up and be serious. Number four, another modern day disconnect is agents think it's easy and they're gonna figure it out on their own. Newsflash, you're not. I didn't, the people before me didn't that were successful and the people that come after me that are successful are gonna figure it out on their own. What makes people think that now because YouTube and podcasts exist, they're just suddenly going to become a superstar? You really think it's that easy and you're going to do it on your own? That would imply that you're special compared to me and everybody else who came before you. You're saying, I don't need to do what you did or what the successful people do. I can figure it out. Or the exception to the rule. I know this one guy that did this this one time and it worked. So the rule doesn't exist now because there was one exception. The exception does not rule out the rule, does not cancel out the rule, doesn't negate the rule. Why, why are we so egotistical and prideful? Why can't we just say, hey, I need help or what do I need to do? Okay, but what do we do? Well, Brian or this other person gave me these 10 steps to do. Well, I don't wanna do step one and two. I'll do four, five or six, nah. I'll just do two and nine. And then you think you're gonna get the result. Why? why? Why do we continue to play in our comfort zone and what we feel like doing? Listen to people talk nowadays, and this is a lot of the agents. Well, I feel this and I feel that. Nobody cares what you feel. The world, the business world, the customer doesn't care what you feel. Reality is reality. Are you going to grasp it? Are you going to get it? Or are you going to keep floating along? Are you going to become a statistic? Because the reality is the failure rate and the dropout rate in our industry is going to skyrocket. It has over the last 10 years, 11 years that I've been in it. And it's going to keep going up. For these four points that I gave you and many more. But we got to get real with ourselves, y'all. We think there's some new thing or we're going to figure it out. I got this and da, da, da. It's like, you got to be kidding me. You're in for a very, very real and harsh reality check if you haven't been. And most of you probably have. We just have become so accustomed to these things that we create these little barriers or we want to just deny reality. So we, we ignore it, which is like the modern day isms. Well, I'm just going to ignore that or not pay attention to it. It's there. You got to deal with it. If you suck with your sales skills and your social skills, yeah, we live in a world where you can avoid it. Sure. But the reality is you still suck and you need to change it. That doesn't mean that it doesn't exist. But see, again, everyone else does the same thing and it's okay to put it to the side. Well, I'm telling you, it's not, especially if we're talking this industry and your success in your future. It's not, and you need to do something about it. And this is why I continue to put out messages and coach and train and help people and do this stuff because I wanna help. But the, the many of you who are straddling the fence, you need to extend your hand and say, please help me accept my hand and allow me to pull you over. Because if you don't, and you do it from a, ah, well, eh, eh, then nothing's gonna happen. You need to get help. You need to do these four things. You need to grow, you need to develop, you need to get around the right people. You need to invest in the right people. You need to go balls to the wall, go all in and figure this thing out. Because the prancing on the outside and one foot in, one out, and well, maybe, and all that other stuff is gone. It's never worked, but especially now, that will get you crushed. Okay, so I don't want to rant on and on. 
But this is the, the, the brutal reality and the disconnect for the modern day real estate agent. And you're going to have to get it together. If not, again, there's a reason that the failure rate in this industry is over 90% and continuing to go up. All right, do what you got to do. All right, see you guys.